there must be billions of hours of cell phone concert videos that no one has ever watched. How many phone videos of concerts obstructed by other phones taking video of concerts are there? Fireworks too. I'd argue fireworks probably have even fewer views. I uploaded mine to YouTube so even more people won't watch it. A related shower thought with the advancements on AI technology, there will be a time where it'll be possible to recreate an entire 3D model of an event from all the recordings phones, cameras, CCTV, etc., in such a way that you could see it from any point of view. And I'm not talking about just concerts, a lot of crimes could be solved, sporting events could be rewatched via VR, etc. And I would think concerts recordings could be an invaluable tool to train such an AI, given that everybody's pointing their phone to the same place. My boyfriend goes back and watches videos he took at concerts he's been to every now and then. He's into music in no way I've ever seen anyone be into music before. Those concerts are such special moments for him. There's a few clips I have that I watch every couple weeks or months from a show six years ago. And I'm so glad I have them because they were extremely special moments that only happened at that show that eventually my memory of the sound and feeling would fade. I get the sentiment but I very often go back and watch videos I've taken at concerts and get goosebumps from nostalgia. I always watch the concert videos I took they make me super happy especially if it's my favorite song I get really giddy. What's worse is they didn't either. Just put down your phone and enjoy it live. Finally a shower thought that made me go out of my way to upvote it. A true shower thought. The equivalent of what my peers used to do in the 70s with handheld cassette recorders, but at least they didn't block your view. Listening to anything made on them was torture. I remember someone yelling, boogie in my ear throughout a show. That, and fireworks, fireworks, Barkler. Has anybody ever gone home and watched their fireworks footage on their phone and said, It's just like being there. Am I the only person who likes watching those old clips when they don't have service? LOL. Truth. Went to a concert last year and the band had totally reworked their biggest song into an anthem for Ukraine. Thought it was cool. Took video. Got home. Realized that someone from a couple nights before had taken much better video and uploaded it to YouTube. I never bothered to watch more than a few seconds of mine before I deleted it. This is such a classic Reddit dumbfuck opinion, not gonna lie. Guys, are you all in your early 20s? I promise you, taking some video of a concert when it's a special event for you is awesome for the future, it floods the memories back when you eventually watch it again when you're older. I doubt people are watching it the next day, or even the next month, but seriously, you think most people won't ever stumble on them and be thankful for the memories? The thought of someone sitting in a quiet room watching back their Yankee concert footage on their phone is so absurd it's actually funny to think about. For real, why does anyone do this? I got the first few opening seconds of Tool doing Stink Fist. I watch it all the time, and it's years old. Oh wow, I just typed concert videos into my Google Photos album and I have so many nostalgic videos from 15 years ago Warped Tour so many punk alternative bands. Just wish I would have turned the camera around and filmed myself and my friends at the concert as well. I'm torn between recording to re-watch later, and giving full attention and living in the moment but unable to re-watch later. Leaning towards the latter. Seems like a no-brainer for gigs concerts to get recorded professionally for distribution later for people who want to watch them couldn't, go etc. And to think that most of it flows to the cloud in an endless stream. How many terabytes of Taylor Swift's mine will sit at server farms never to be accessed again? If it weren't for cell phone footage there wouldn't be a spliced together video of my first ever concert attendance. Not that I ever watch it, but it makes me feel warm and fuzzy knowing that I have it and can watch it at any time. I now take a professional audio recorder with me to concerts and stick it in a cup holder to record the entire thing from the openers to the encore. Much more palatable to listen back on my favorite bits of the show. On the flip side, I live listening to recordings of concerts I've been to. 
Some mensch uploaded an entire concert I went to that didn't have an official recording release and I listened all the way through. Could hear my own cheers at certain parts. V fun to relive. Windows phones had this thing where you could upload event video to a public cloud, and people could watch the concert from a ton of different people's phones. I checked it out once and like 90 of the uploads were dick pics. This is why we can't have nice things. I like to imagine that one day with the help of AI we will be able to upload them, and with enough data points, the AI will be able to create a VR recreation of the concert. I saw a bunch of concerts recently and you know what makes a memorable video worth sharing. A 5 second clip of the chorus. That's it. Show people a 5 second clip. And then stop showing videos. I found that it's reasonable and short enough where people happily tolerate a tiny snippet of the experience. I just take a picture of each band at some point and put my phone back. The amount of disk storage used for us to record meaningless events and things we never look back on in my opinion will be the fall of humanity. Take it a step further and imagine how much of it will eventually end up deleted so casually. In that spirit, we will become the first generation to both create and lose such an enormous volume of media. At least half of that was recorded right in front of me, obstructing the view while I was just trying to watch the damn show with my eyeballs. As someone who worked at a tech recycler, I can tell you that there is at least 10x this figure in videos of the inside of purses and pockets. I watch mine a few times for a while, but eventually delete. Some live music shows like by Ramstein or Slayer are spectacular and worth recording and re-watching fave song or intros until you find the official recording. It also enables me to share with boast to family friends who couldn't be there. I did the math. Assuming exactly 1 billion hours, it would take over 114,000 years to watch all of it. When cell phones replaced lighters, that is when the music died. I've watched more concerts through Snapchat than I've ever been to. As a short man I've gotten great views of the artist through someone's phone screen instead of an army of shoulders. I still think about the footage from my first concert, it was bright eyes, recorded 10 second clips at a time on my Motorola flip phone, lost forever because there was no such thing as a backup back then, and the phone broke. Not as many as hours of Steam games that I've bought and never played. I love my old concert videos, I've caught some killer shit while doing a 20-40 second video and I honestly reflect back on them every few weeks. As an example, during Frank Mullen's farewell tour with Suffocation he stopped the band after the last breakdown in Liege of Inveracity, he told the whole band to keep playing that part so he could see a pit to that song one last time in his hometown. Just a tip to people saying your phone will be in the way of other people, you can always record at chest level which is what I do and I'm not even that tall. It would be interesting to start a documentation app where people could upload their specific concert footage and users got the opportunity to flip through different video sources seamlessly as a given song plays. Combine it, run it through AI and relive it in VR to recreate that concert. Don't worry there is an AI startup just around the corner that'll figure out how to moneyize it. Virtua Concert Here We Come, a true heuristic ear-deafening experience for the concerts you couldn't afford. People are filming all the time, so I guess you'd be able to create a cut of the entire concert only with the videos people made. Not technically true. They have all been watched by the guy standing behind you. And let's hope it stays that way. No one wants to watch your garbled up shaky a Snapchat story with you screaming into the MIC at some concert. I see Snap stories all the time of my friends recording the concert. The quality is garbage and they go on forever. Who gives a flying shit that you are at a concert, enjoy it for yourself instead of trying to show people that you do things. I rewatch the crap I record all the time and I go to heaps of concerts. About 60k people on TikTok were watching Taylor Swift's three-hour concert from someone's phone just this past weekend. So I guess people care about the iPhone footage sometimes, 